Seconded. What was the other boy's name you said? Andrew. Andrew. Oh, well, Andrew 21 and 23. Age 21 and 23. And Uncle Robbie, he came home with one arm. With one arm. And there were two daughters to be born. And it's grand. And she only wore black. And Granny only wore black, like Queen Victoria for the rest of her life. So she did, and she always sat in a chair. So I didn't mind her, I was all right. And she had, she had a cardigan in her pocket, with a pocket. And she had a purse in her pocket, with a pin. That's right. A pin and in her pocket. she sat with a brooch on, a big brooch. What's a pin? Black dress. A pin. Oh. <laughs> a pin. <laughs> pin. I'll put subtitles on that one. <laughs> no, she sat on this chair. Uh, uh, or it came with this black dress or something. Mm -hmm. She kind of had all the foot and the My mother says she was quite, what would you call it? Kind of recluse. Sophisticated yeah. looking old woman. Oh, well, she was really nice. Do you mind? I don't remember her because she died. Oh, well, well, she was a nice old lady. She was wee and thin and had a, she had done long hair, but she did it up and bun all the time, you know. I can remember her. I, remember. I used to go across for. Whose phone's that? Well, it's such a... Is that your phone, Scott? It's amazing. But, uh, see, I don't remember. I'm just going with what Mama wants to tell us. Oh, I remember. But I can remember seeing a photograph there sitting at the door with this black dress on, long black dress on, and a brooch up here, yeah, and my hair was all kind of old and dee ho. Sat on the left-hand side of the fireplace all the time. That no, was her chair. I was, I think I was only four, eh, when she died. Eh? Was I four when she died, I think? I don't know. I think so. Well, I would be four, too. <laughs> the one that came back from the war, who was that, with one arm? He went to live in Dumfries. I don't know where he lived before that. Who was that? Robert. I lived in Kent Street in Dumfries. In Kent, in Dumfries. I went to visit. And he worked. No, well. Something to do with the bank, mate. Eh? No, he worked. He was a caretaker. Oh, a caretaker um, at the bank. The bank. And he had a daughter. And we had the house up, Margaret, Margaret was his daughter, and Bertie. And he had a son, Bertie. What was Bertie? What was he that? was in the uh, Air Force as well. That's a proper name for Bertie. Albert. 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 Robert. Oh, the Robert. Oh, oh, after his father. After his Robert. father. And, uh, and Margaret, his sister, she worked for... Bins. Came bin shop. Bins. Just like Jenner's, but it's bins. She it's worked bins. in bins. She worked in there. What was life, I think, wasn't it? She nursed her mother and father <coughs> all her life. Ah, she nursed her mother. And then she died. I never even knew she died. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's as far as I knew there. <laughs> Where did they fight in the war? Did they talk about it? Sorry? Well, it was my mother that was telling me, eh, Freddie Sullivan. In the war, where did they fight? Did they talk about it? No, it was in France. In France, France you know, it was, well, I suppose you go all over France during the war. You can just go over the name of your place with them. We put on the beaches. Normandy. Normandy. It wasn't it actually. It wasn't Flanders and it wasn't Normandy. It was not what's that been heaps? It could have been something like that. Oh, heaps, was I'm it? not sure. Carol. My mother told me, but I can't think. I was only young. Twelve or fourteen. Heaps that lost a lost about four or five million men the first time. Uh, and what was the other one where they got the guys? It was the Flanders on the beach. The beaches yeah. that were all more down. Yeah, the trenches were on. That was Normandy on D Day. Oh, was that on Normandy? I can't remember, but I don't think it was Flanders. Oh, I could have been down that beach. Maybe in that book. What kind of quit? You said in the car that you used to ask your mum all the questions and stuff, and your dad. What kind of stuff did you ask them? <coughs> you know, just where they were born, and you know, my mother was born, and that was the day. He wouldn't know mm. better than me. My mother was born in Brie. In Brie. B R E A C H. No, E I C H. E I C H. Brie. B R E I C H. Brie. We are the ACH, it's a little brief. Was it in Glen Lamond? Glen Lamond or something? Glen Lamond. Glen Lamond. What was your mum like, Jean? My mother? Oh, she was a lady. She was a really nice woman. She was a woman. I don't think she ever fell out with anybody in her life. She was like, she was like that, and so, <coughs> so was her, her mother. Her mother, Granny. It's the same, Granny was the one of them. Granny Russell. They were just, uh, what were they like? just nice, 
nice people. Mm. What was it like all growing up in the same house? Oh, pandemonium. In your house? Yeah. Well, tell them about the time when we moved to the Post Office Village. I told them that. I was only a year and a half. My mother told me this. You told me this. Bad brother, you told me this. When my mother moved from the uh, uh, Post Office Village, that's where, I, that's where I was born. And she went up and she got a bathroom there. We didn't have a bathroom. Down in another house, no, I had a bathroom in this house. And I think it was bedroom. Barbara, my sister Barbara, who told me, she says, uh, my mother used to go up and sit on the toilet pan and look at the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and when she had a bathroom. And when she could afford it, she did in this middle room up. Oh, and it was pink that linoleum. Was pink, hmm. pink linoleum and nice pink and bed covers. Bed covers. New, bed, new dressing table. And, and I never got that in my life. Neither did I. Neither did I. You left time to get married. Uh, there was a dressing table in the wardrobe. And every time my mother went up to the toilet, she used to go in and look at it. Just to sit in the bed. I can mind, sort of mind this dark of my blind nose. It was a nice pink hmm. cover, you know. Pink floral linoleum, I remember. Pink floral linoleum. You've got nine kids, you know, 11 years, you know. I couldn't work. Would it be a council house? No, it was a council house. A council house that had four huge bedrooms. Four bedrooms, three upstairs and one downstairs. And I had to share all my life. And our lad, because every time somebody got married, you know, in the day days, everybody got a council house. Every time somebody got married, they'll come to the pink room. They have to stay with stay with their until parents. Until they've got a house. No, like that. You have to stay with your parents till you've got a house. Like. So Bad Bernalic came. Liz and Rap. Liz and Rap came, and I was sitting waiting on this pink room on my own. And uh, who else came after that? <laughs> Jim and Jean. He's on Tom. He's on Tom. Tom. They came next. And then I was getting to the age where I was, I left home at 17. Yeah. Yeah, when I went to Edinburgh. Yeah. I mean, I was working at home, yes. like, but I moved away to Edinburgh then. And the room was spare. And it was, there was nobody in it. And I never ever got to sleep in it. I never was in it. You I got to sleep. Uh, Barbara was the I always wanted a room to myself all my life. And I used to share with your Liz. Before she got married, right, you know. And she had two beds in it. And I was always kind of mm-hmm. going to the particular room, okay? So what? Liz used to pinch all my clothes. She did. She pinched all my clothes. So all your underwear. And all my new underwear. And I always kept, you know, I don't know what you do nowadays, but I used to have the good stuff and the old stuff, you know. And every time I used to go to the dance the week, there was a Jean Martin with my blouse on. You bad when I was a new blouse on. And oh, I used to go mental. My mother would say, Tell Liz like that she couldn't get it done. And I can remember I was going to a party uh, when I was young. And I had tights, that's when tights first came out because it was stockings we used to wear when we first left school, right, you know. And I had these two pair of tights. But well, you were bad, right? They were right buying us from things, like, you know. And I had them hidden in the drawer, you know. And I was going to this party and I was wanting to get these tights to them. <laughs> I was in the stair with these tanks, I think I was great behind all of them, you know, and <laughs> bring rats right up them. Liz would wore them, put them back in the drawer. Barbara and I used to do that as well. It's mainly oh, pounds anyway. I, I, remember lending, I remember lending Betty Smith a pair of red velvet uh, suede, red suede shoes. Your dad was in love with it, went to Snake Pit and came roast in the other side. And uh, Betty Smith was there, and your dad well. came in with a pal, and she says, Is that my good shoes at Betty Smith's gone? Because Betty Smith could not afford shoes. So it hadn't I, wouldn't pal. Well, that's what Liz used to do. And Barbara went into the hospital with TB. Oh, well, she was a wee. Can she that was when I was a baby for me, because I couldn't oh, remember no. Barbara. And she, she had, this, see she had this green suit, turquoise suit that she had got for somebody's wedding or something, I can't mm-hmm. remember. And um, I was wearing it. She was in the hospital. I used to get in the wardrobe and put it on. And I mean, when she came out, she said, How is that suit? Oh, done, nearly done. Have you been wearing my good suit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was 
Then the hospital for over a year, eh? she was a nurse and she took TB of the patient. And she was nursing I remember that, that how Granny's house that had the, like, the pink room like you say with the mm. fancy And the pink rug. And the rug and the, the <laughs> quilt, mm. like the eyes are down, no, and the no. candle like the night. Nothing like that, yeah. And the pink rug. The front room it's not two, thing, it's a two, two, two big old double beds and the wardrobe and Uncle Tom. The rear room. The rear room. Uncle Tom used to pee just remember the parties, John. You remember the parties? He was in the double, he was in the single room with cell it. And uh, well, he used to share his rooms with Jim at one time, but when Jim got married. Jim, well, Jim went to the army, didn't he? Ah, Jim, Jim went to the army. Tam was in the room, but oh, Tam peed the, 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 Tam, the, the, Tam peed the bed every night. Okay, yeah. And every night before. <laughs> oh, this is the truth. When we, we used to go we used to lying in, your bed. in your bed at night, <laughs> sleeping, and my mum would bring him up to take him to the toilet before he went to and bed. And my brother lying, she there was. were two <laughs> double beds, and me and Liz and <laughs> Anna. And we're all lying in and bed. these two three double say, beds. Come on, Tom. Pee, Tom. To say, Tom, will you pee? And we say, Tom. Pee, Tom. Pee. <laughs> pee. Hurry up and pee, we're done. Give me your shout. Tom, will you hurry up and pee? We're all trying to get to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> pee, Tom. Pee. <laughs> and then my, my granny, she granny go really old like, you know. She was when she died, yeah. she was she was and uh, she came along with us. Oh no, she had a house up the road. No, she had a house up the road, but I had to go and do her work. Oh, and my mother made her meals, and we had a, an uncle that was never married. Yeah. Yeah. And when he went out the weekend, we used to bring Granny down beside her. So Granny, go, wounded, no, Granny used to go into the into the room with us, me and Liz and the Bella. I mean Liz and Anna. <laughs> she got up through the night. This time she was staying out of the night shop. She had a long blonde. She had a long blonde. Green. 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 And a long white June. She's like a ghost. She's like a ghost. You've got it in your bed, eh? And she's come, oh, there's no light. There's no light on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Mother was in maybe doing something in the kitchen, she would go out and she'd get lost and we couldn't find the her anywhere. The police and all the neighbours And the neighbours would shout, Mrs. Glencross, she's in here! And then Mrs. Martin would shout another day, Mrs. Glencross, we'll keep her for an hour for you, because I mean she was completely away with dementia, like, you know. And then the police, they, they well, what's his name, that Wallace, Aye, used to come up, cut up there, my name, and we're up the road to say, here she is! <laughs> I found her! <laughs> and she used to sit with Carol oh, on her knee, mind the fire in front of the fire. He, I'm just heating her toes, she said, as you go on nearly in the fire. <laughs> and she used, to put, <laughs> she used to put her money in a handkey. She was obsessed with money. Came when she got to the dementia, like. And it was all coppers and everything, because my mother used to eat her money, like. She used to put it up the knicker there, or the leg of her knickers. <laughs> it was a lot, the big bloomer knickers then, you know. Cooking. And she used to put, put it under there, you know, all her money, you know. And every time you went through the living room, you know, she was sitting in the living room. You'd see her putting something else up the knicker leg and another thing up the knicker leg. And my mother said, well, you get all these things out of there. Okay, oh, we were a bit demented there. Okay, we were young, just like them. Okay, and we were young and we were saying, oh, for God's sake. And then I went up, to, you go up to her house, and I used to have to go up and clean her house. And uh, uh, I went up and she, she had boiled eggs right along the... My granddad, she had a big pot of my granddad on the dressing table, and she fed him every morning. And the queen, and the queen, <laughs> queen put <laughs> boiled eggs boiled and put them in, on the front of the sideboard in front of my grandfather. With and the spoons on it. Tomatoes and... <laughs> Uh, no, that was a different story again. I all the boiled eggs and the cream up. I said, who's all the eggs for? She said, that's for the queen and your granddad. Oh, God. And then we used to, she went out uh, uh, and then mine, she used to, she boiled tomatoes for what was dinner. And I, I remember when they got up in time, I'd be running up the road because she couldn't leave her, see, so she just wandered away, you know. And I'd run up the road and I went in and she said, big pull his tatties on the boil. She said, I've got all his tatties on for you. 
Well, he was the youngest <laughs> son. He, he was never married, our youngest son. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, the things that we used to do. Yeah. Oh, well, Joe, we'll that Joe had the shop. No, Annie yeah, had that the shop. Auntie Annie. Yeah. That, that was Joe's, Joe's wife. wife. Mm -hmm. She had a wee shop down there. And Russell's dad. Mum. Mum's went to Greece. To She's do. in Greece. Her mum and dad had a wee shop at the end of at the street. At the end of the street. Yeah. So. Mind you, they were brilliant days. We had a great time living with them. Because mm -hmm. it was off pills and we had plenty of water to jump in. Buttons running through it. Like going to the Medes. Deep dives and everything. What yeah, was yeah. the Medes? Was that the water off the... No, it was that big. But it's still here, yeah. yeah the Medes, they call it now. Mm -hmm. We called it the Medes, but it's we know the they're not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck. No, I know that one. I know the Medes then. That was not so good. It was the, the, the one doing the terrace that... Uh, oh, the, the bun. The bun. Mm -hmm. We used to swim in Neri. And our Tom was a brilliant swimmer. He always was. And he used to go into them, and I'm talking, you've been to Neri, have you? No? Oh. Yeah. It's huge. I mean, it's huge and it's deep, you know? And we used to go up, and he used to go under the water, and we're all shouting, oh, quick, run for help, he's dead, he's dead. And we used to go and hide from under the water and that, you know? And then he'd come, oh, I'm here. Dumb. You would have got killed, my mother and me. You used to take me walking when I was wee, mm -hmm. bottles of water, a bottle of water. That's right. Peace and joy. Mm -hmm. You used to go and collect all the wee birds, birds. Birds' eggs, you know. Come back and fly. I used to go shooting the gym when mm -hmm. you were up there. What was it? Yeah. Even, what was that Uncle Bob? Weeks. Uncle Bob okay. went into the... He was in the army. He was in the, he was in the army. He was in the army. Oh, he was called up when he was 17. Because mm -hmm. he was, what is it, the National Service. Uh -huh. And Bob was caught, and he never ever came out here. And Uncle Jim came to see Bob. Well, Jim. <laughs> well, he just went in. He was in the new the army. He was in the jail in the army. He was in the jail. You know? And uh, you know what he done? Our Bob lived in Malta. Uh, Malta. No, it wasn't in Malta, was it? No, no. No, no, it was Malta. 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 And Jim was in the paratroopers, you see. And uh, this, he had a crew, this Colonel McLean, Colonel McLean, right, you know, and he used to come to my mother's, and they once brought 22 soldiers to my mother's for the New Year, to a house. <laughs> they all came running up the terrace and the big lorries, <coughs> and <coughs> and stacks of the food, they brought all your tins, mm -hmm. all the rations. All the rations, and they took it all around all the houses, took it and, all the houses and, and, and then they made a great big tent, the little garden with the... Oh, oh huge, away down the road there. They put one of them great big tents up in the back. And they all slept in that. And we had to feed them. And we had to make steak pies, and breakfast, and steak pies for night. And, well, we're a bit rude minded, we had a good laugh, eh? Mm -hmm. And they were good handsome, we were all handsome. We used to come once or twice. 14, 15 or something, 15, 16, and we used to, oh, he was nice, eh? You know, you know, like that, yeah, when you're young, you know. <laughs> And then Budgie and me, me. Oh, Budgie was a brothel, yeah. <laughs> and another time, when no, Bob was in England, he jumped out the aeroplane. No, that was, in, that was in Malta. I thought that was in England. And they were going over Mal in Cyprus. Cyprus, no, in Cyprus. Uh -huh. One of them, anyway. So Marion was out in the garden. <laughs> And your Jim parachuted into your garden. You got the giant. Out the plane. Out the plane. Uncle, Jumped Uncle in the Bob, plane with a parachute. Uncle Bob was in the army. They were they in, were in, in the army. They went and lived in the army. I thought it was Hong Kong. <laughs> no, no, no Hong Kong. No. Who? Hong Kong. No, it was... No, anyway, Uncle no, Bob was in the army and Uncle Jim was in the paratroopers. He said, I'm going to go and visit our Bob. So he jumped out of the plane and landed in Uncle Bobby's garden. And he went to jail. Landed in the garden. Marion's, they're all looking when they... And here he plumped into the garden and then the military men all come and swooped him away. And, oh, it was oh, so it funny. Really? He was a real Jimmy. Right when he was young. When was that? What year was that, roughly? Oh, God. I don't even mind what year it would be. Yeah, in the 60s, eh? 60s. In the 60s, I would Probably, think. Yeah. It was a big change, obviously, from the end of the war to, mm -hmm. like, the middle 60s. Oh, yeah, a huge change. Mm -hmm. Big cultural change, wasn't it? Yeah. But, oh, your German would do anything, eh? Oh, my. Yeah, with a beard devil. Yeah, really. <laughs> but he was always in the jail for doing something. Yeah. That's not like your jail. Yeah, the, 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 the guard house. In the guard house, that's 
that was yeah, it. And then he said, kill Thai, no leave the Thai. And we had some Thai. They used to bring all these 